What's up, everybody? Welcome to Podcast Now. I'm Alex, and I'm here today to give my God of War tips and tricks. So God of War is a very, very different kind of game. I think that's been very clear from just about any videos that you may have seen of this game. And if you've played it yet, you'll have known at this point that the game is very different. This is not the normal God of War that we're used to. And there's a couple things I think you guys should keep in mind when you're just jumping in and that I'm going to be talking about in this video. First thing, I'm going to want to talk about the combat. The combat is obviously an essential part of of God of War, and this God of War is very, very different with combat. Very different button structure, very different ways of actually fighting. It's slower, it's more, of the the camera is definitely more in your face, where you feel like you're right behind Kratos. And But the way you actually fight is pretty unique. The fighting style seems to be its own kind of unique entity, really with the Leviathan Axe mapped to your R1, R2 for light and heavy attacks. Only two attacks, you can throw the axe, and I definitely recommend throwing the axe. That's kind of tip and trick number one. Throwing the axe as much as humanly possible. Not only can you do major, major damage, especially heavy damage when you throw the axe, but if you place it in the right location when you pull it back, pulling it back is one of the mo most vital things you do with the axe that does more damage. Try and aim it so that you can end up hit pulling back and hitting multiple enemies on the way back. The light attacks tend to be the ones that brush off enemies. The heavy attacks, you kind of have, uh, in a way, luck where sometimes the Leviathan axe will get stuck on an enemy and stick to him and freeze him, sometimes it will bounce off. But light attacks, most of them always bounce off. This is going to kind of come into play later on in the game when enemies start to have shields and start to block you. You can break those blocks. There's actually just a button. Double tapping L1 can do that. But if you don't want to do that, if you throw the axe behind the person and you end up pulling it back, it can hurt them from behind. So that's going to be kind of a, a trick if you don't want to go full force into the blocking or the breaking their blocks in the skill menu. And that's another thing. Now, I'm not going to really talk about the skills that much in this game because we're going to make another video for tomorrow and we're going to talk about the best skills to buy kind of early on in the game. But there are lots of skills. There's skills with close combat. There's skills for far away combat. There's Atreus's bow. There's magic. There's a lot of things to buy. Really, for now, I will just say, look at the video, watch the video, see what Kratos will eventually be able to do with these powers and pick the ones that you feel you, you most want to do. Another thing in this game is there are a lot of different equipment. Firstly, there's just buying equipment. There's unlocking, there's equipping. Then there's also runes that can also they can boost your attack, your defense, all sorts of things. You're going to just want to manage them. If you go on the menu kind of early on in the game, Nick and I did this. If you go on the menu early on, you're probably going to be overwhelmed. There are a lot of menus. There's a skill menu. There's your weapon menu. You can, you can even change the grip of your axe. There's a lot of stuff. I would say to just ignore it for the beginning and the game will walk you through what you need to do in order to kind of get acclimated to all this stuff. Now for all this stuff you're going to have to actually get these things though and there's a lot of different currencies. There's XP and the XP will level up your skills but there's also money. You can actually get money and there's also steel. Something something steel that will uh, level up Atreus's abilities specifically. What you're going to want to do is you're going to want to basically do the God of War thing is pick up every single thing you find. There's many things glowing on the ground. You're going to want to not take the, the straightforward path. If there's another way you can go, go that way. You'll end up getting XP. You'll end up getting money. You'll get all sorts of things. There's multiple chests. There's kind of the God of War. You know, if you unlock a certain amount of chests, you get you actually get apples. And if you get every time you get three apples, it maxes up your health. You're going to want to find those. And those are connected to kind of puzzles. You're going to have to hit like three symbols uh, hidden along the map. So you got to do that. But every chest gives you something. Gives you a material gives you an item gives you something that you're going to be using in the game so always go around uh, kind of a couple hours in you're going to end up meeting the, the world serpent in the water and it kind of the game opens up to you pretty big time where there is a place to go you're going to want to explore god of war this time around is not just a linear game it isn't where you go into an area it locks you out you kill your enemies you move on there is still that element there for sure but the game lets you explore a little more and when you explore that is when you're going to find all these things that are even going to help you. Kratos, funny enough, even makes a note in the game when the boy says, why are we, 
doing all this stuff if you don't want to help people. And even and Kratos says that we're finding all this stuff to to help like prepare us for the journey ahead. So it's funny that the game actually has a reason and has Kratos say a reason why he's doing these things. And the final thing really is just to be aware of the game. Again, I talked about how this is a very different kind of game. The fighting is very, very different. You can actually change the mapping of the buttons you can change it to the more uh, generic or the more god of war feel uh, square and triangle you can use atreus that will either be mapped to square or r2 if you swap the the buttons atreus is a very powerful character um maybe not really in the very beginning all he can really do is shoot bows but you can unlock abilities where he will jump on enemies and stab them he will stun them and knock them into you so you can do something he's very much gonna grow as you upgrade him to be an uh, really an ellie type Last of Us character to bring that up again, but you're going to want to use him. Sometimes people would, I think, especially even Nick and I, would forget you know, he's around and he even kind of tells you, he's like, tell me when to shoot. You're going to want to use him as often as possible with the arrows. He can get you out of a bind. Certain enemies can break your guard and you're kind of stunned for a couple seconds. And if they get a, a, an attack on you, they can actually do a lot of damage to you. That's probably the best time to use Atreus's ability to hit them because then it kind of stops their attack but just in the game overall like I said it's much slower it's much more in your face but a lot of the things they still are the general God of War feel explore open chess do all that stuff and there's a massive emphasis again on puzzles and these puzzles I think are much much different than past God of War games they mainly revolve around using the Leviathan axe which is really really cool sometimes it'll be stopping moving objects sometimes it'll be hitting far away items you're gonna just want to be aware that if you don't know what to do in any given situation situation, most likely you are going to have to use the axe. There's some areas that are actually blocked off until you hit them with the axe and destroy like the wood and then Atreus can jump up there. So you're going to want to be looking around the world for that kind of stuff and you're also going to want to be looking around the world for Odin's eyes. There's actually crows in the game that you're going to want to hit. You don't want to miss those out. Those are a trophy opportunity there and there's a ton of collectibles in this game. This game is much more heavy on collectibles. You're going to want to just basically be aware. Be aware like you should be in any God of War game if you're going for the platinum or you want those trophies. So guys, that's all I have right now for my tips and tricks. Let me know in the comments below if I missed anything or any tips and tricks you would give to people. Again, if you're here for the giveaway, a welcome. Make sure you leave a comment in the comments below in order to enter that. And if you didn't already know, we are doing a God of War giveaway. So make sure you enter that. Again, tomorrow we're going to be talking about the best skills you should get. So we're going to really be talking just about the skill menu. So we're going to do that. And we're going to be continuing playing God of War and having many videos throughout the week. So thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you on the next God of War video.